About 225 miles southeast of Baghdad is an area with historical and religious significance, but the only people who get to see it are American troops. Reporter Molly Wilkes explains. It's one of Iraq's most famous archaeological sites, rising from the desert near Nasiriya in the southeast. The Ziggurat of Ur, a massive 4,000-year-old temple pyramid, and the surrounding ruins of an ancient Sumerian city. The ziggurat was almost completely off limits to the public under Saddam's regime. Back then, tour guide Daif Masen didn't get much business. During the time of Saddam, he made the tourists difficult to come to for Iraq. He putting checkpoint and putting Iraqi soldiers in it. Uh, when they came here, also not picture here and not picture there. The only regular tourists now are busloads of U.S. soldiers from nearby Camp Adder on a sightseeing excursion they'll never forget. I heard about in uh, college classes, but I never. I thought I'd get to actually be on the Ziggur editor. I'm actually um, in school to be a history teacher. I'm a senior in college right now, so this means everything to me um, to be able to show my students for the next 30 years. In the shadow of the ziggurat lies a place that some consider even more significant. This is believed to be the home of the prophet Abraham, a central figure in three major religions. Muslims, Jews, and Christians all claim Abraham as their patriarch. I was raised in, in a Christian home, and so I studied Abraham for many years. To, so to be in the place that he walked and to be able to touch the walls of the place that is purported to be his home is just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me. A U.N. report accuses U.S. troops of badly damaging ancient ruins in Babylon during the 2003 invasion. But the U.S. is widely credited with preserving and protecting the ziggurat. American advisors are trying to help the Iraqi government excavate the site and open it to the public. Still, infrastructure and security will have to improve before the area becomes a viable destination for Western tourists. No, it won't be accessible to anyone, probably, of us anytime soon, but to Middle Eastern people and North African people, and yes, absolutely yes. And someday, Iraqis hope to share this archaeological treasure with the entire world. Uh, this is for Iraq, for uh, America, uh, all the countries in the world, because this civilization, the, always the civilization for all the world, or the holy place is not for one country. At the Ziggurat of War, Malini Wilkes, Fox News.